hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today we are going to be talking about the struggles i have been facing settling back in ghana in 2022 moving and settling back to ghana in 2022 i'm going to be doing a separate video talking about moving to ghana in 2022 and i'll be covering some basis of some things that i had to do you know all of that good stuff in case you are planning on moving to ghana but yes today's video i just been talking about some struggles that i have been facing yeah, settling back in Ghana after I've been in Nigeria for so long. That's what we'll be talking about today. Before we get into all of that, if this is your first time on my channel and you're just seeing my face for the first time. Hi, my name is Vanessa. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Ghana. Yes. Yeah. And if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. Before you leave, subscribe and join our family. I have been away for a long time. I know that. But we're back now to like, you know regular posting i'm only saying that i mean it this time around so yeah don't forget to subscribe before you leave like and comment also on my returning subscribers thank you so much see ya yeah. before that you guys have been riding with me for so long and i've been so inconsistent here for as long as i have been it's just been amazing i'm like oh my god wow like you guys are my family take it or no whether you like it or not you are my family you two family you guys have been riding for so long i cannot believe we're almost at 4k and i literally have not been posting for months now so there are some months i'll post one video in a month i've really been so inconsistent because like i said in my other video i don't know which one is going up fair but i've just been doing a lot of things that's something i tend to do mostly most times i tend to like dip my heart in separate little things like a million little things at once and because of that some areas of my life tend to suffer it's it's been a struggle really trying to like you know blend everything together be able to carry this and carry that branching out a new business venture and all of that it's really been a whole minute so yeah a lot of people don't even know i'm back in ghana like i've just been keeping it to myself because i am not yet ready to start the whole you know because i have a lot of things to do i have a lot of things to put together because i for the last couple of months i've literally been back and forth in ghana between ghana and nigeria it's not like i've just been in nigeria for as long as i was in nigeria but because i was not spending a long t a, a lot of time in ghana i wasn't really like making videos but now i'm not like moving i'm like fully back in ghana now at least for like the last couple of months <laughs> i am fully back in ghana now so like it's been a struggle like we're adjusting back to the lifestyle like i said that's what we're going to be talking about today so number one is food see because if you know me very well and you've been on this channel for a while you basically know i love the Ghanaian food i do a lot but because i've been in nigeria for a long time and i've not been getting like a lot of Ghanaian food in nigeria like it's been, like my area in nigeria basically you can get Ghanaian food in nigeria but majorly you can get those in big cities like lagos abuja those major cities like that but for where i'm from i'm in warrigi and waferia you don't get a lot of that there so you have to like make it yourself and to get the ingredients can be a bit tricky and because i was away from home for three good years also i just like went back and i just blend into the whole eating my own native food kind of thing so i like you know my taste bud has not like gotten used to the whole worry food <laughs> but that's so white melon so all of the amazing juicy stuff stash and all of that so like since i've been back now i have to like start eating the Ghanaian dishes again and it's been like it's it's, it's been it's, it's not really been a struggle it's been refreshingly different yes that's the right so it's been refreshingly different and i've been having a lot of you know fun time like reminiscing like oh my god i miss this now when i get this food i'm like oh my god i miss this oh my god i miss that and another thing that's really number two i don't think we're going to be like numbering there i'm just going to be like talking about the different struggles of missing back not just the struggle i'm talking about the highlights also because it's been fun back in ghana also obviously another thing really is that it's been a hot minute getting used to the heat again like i'm literally sitting here now with my ac remote i cannot live without it but somehow i think we have low i don't know what's happening i think it's i don't know if it's this house i really have not been able to figure that out yet but my ac is a little bit like i don't know it's been a hot it's been, it's been a struggle basically i have to get a fan and the noise of the fan is like but like the heat it's been like 
it's been a real struggle. I know some people will say, hey, Nigeria is hot also. Like, I want to say, well, I'm in, I'm, a, I'm a Delta. I want to say I'm a Ghanaian. Well, I'm a Ghanaian, obviously. I'm a Delta. I am not from the hot part of Nigeria. So each time, each time I'm saying, oh, it's been the heat in Ghana and all of that, it's not because I'm being like a whatever snob, you know. It's mostly because because I'm from Delta and the river area, so I'm always used to cold weather, not that cold. We still experience hot weather all the best, nothing compared to the weather in Ghana. So like coming back now, I'm like day in, day out, I'm not like, it's just been a hot minute. We're adjusting back, I, mean, I think my system is really adjusting perfectly well. I think the first week I came also, I, I, I relocated and I was like a week in, I felt sick. It wasn't because i think it was mostly because of the change of environment you know body system and all of that yeah but another one of the most amazing thing about relocating back to ghana in 2022 is like now i have constant electricity again i miss it so much you do not know how much like like i said there are some areas in nigeria that actually have good electricity constant electricity but for my area in nigeria we don't have 24 hours electricity we have good electricity i'm not going to last say we don't have but we do not have the whole 24 hours 247 electricity i have to like get for get these old to like substitute most times because man cannot live in darkness you know so like i've really been like having fun back where uh, i have 24 hours electricity back to my ring light as my face is shining i have to like I think I have to change the whole thing. I don't know, but it's been like I'm trying to adjust it. Yeah. Just ignore it, but I'm sure I'm enjoying using ring lights constantly again while making YouTube videos. So yeah, I really, really have been loving the fact that I now have constant electricity again. I don't have to go through the whole struggle of fuel, getting fuel, getting diesel because right now in Nigeria, hmm, to get petrol fuel is like a struggle. I, I think the, the hiking price is everywhere because it's in Ghana here also. I've not noticed that. The last time I was here, last year, uh, it was about, about four to five cities, now it's seven point something cities. So it's really like, the hiking price is everywhere. But the thing is that we have to queue for it in Nigeria now, like, and the price of diesel in Nigeria is now 720 naira. So for someone like me, or like back in my family house, we have the petrol, generator that small one then we have the least tower you have to use diesel a nine liter of diesel is 720 naira so you can just imagine the amount of money you use in repairing yourself i'm like looking back now i'm like looking at a whole lot of small businesses in nigeria that have been a struggle and because i started a new business in nigeria also that needs to empower electricity i have to like you know funding that and be able to fund one own will be like a hot made struggle basically so like i said i am very if i if, if or not the one thing i'm very grateful for about moving back to ghana is the electricity i know the nigerians will come for me but for real i love it's it's just there's there's a difference there's a whole lot of different between it so yes that's really that has not been a struggle another thing is i'm not back to the whole yes sir no you know, yes, please, no, please, this, please, this, that, this, that. Like, it's, it's a Ghanaian thing where you literally have to add please to every statement. You know, when I went to Nigeria and I was not doing this whole please, this, this, like, people are looking at me like, ah, when this girl become this um, overly um, no respect, is it respectful? Because we are very respectful in Nigeria, we do not talk to others like that. But you know, when every service is read out, so you have to say thank you, this and that, please, please. You want to buy something, and you say, please give me this, please do me that. It's not something that you see every day in Nigeria. My head is like a struggle, I'm struggling with this. I don't even know why I'm having why I have it on because my hair is literally <laughs> my hair is getting rough. I'm not be able to tell. I think that's why I don't even know why I have it on basically. But yeah, ignore me, my struggle with the head sound and the rest of that. So yeah, like I said, I'm not back to the whole yes list, this list, that, that. And another thing is I'm not back to being overly cautious about the way I talk, how I present myself. Because when you are like a foreigner in another country, you are representing, to me, that's how I see it. Basically, you are representing your whole country in this other human country so you have to like act a certain way because if you do not act a certain way it's like nigerians are not acting this way nigerians are not acting this way i think most people saw some of my vlogs in nigeria like yeah a whole lot freer in nigeria that's because in nigeria i can have an issue with somebody and it's just me and this person having an issue but in ghana yeah i can have an issue with anybody 
or laugh too loud or literally be like um, talk in a certain way and it's like in Nigeria doing that so there's a whole lot of difference between living in both places here so I'm like back to having to like trying to like adjust back to the, the whole oh I'm not in another country I have to like go back to like being you know blending in being um, not too loud and all up in people's faces because like I said it's what it, it is what it is it's not in Ghana and Nigeria and basically yeah it's just the way life is basically when you're in another country you're representing your whole country so you have to act a certain way you have to be cautious so my, my, like now i'm not cautious of the way i speak to people in public like someone can just get me offended in public now like i will not laugh and just like forget over it move on past it this low lighting i think we'll have to fix it i think it's a bit better and it was just so shining too much on my face like I said, I'm just trying to fix the whole lighting thing, situation thing. And my AC is acting up, so it's hot. This light is hot. Ring light. You know, I didn't go to Nigeria with my ring light. So I had to like start making videos using natural lighting alone, which was why I wasn't making a whole lot of sit down videos because I didn't want to start getting a new ring light in Nigeria when I have an 18. I have the 18 inches in Ghana, I have the 10 inches, I have the 12 inches in Ghana. Imagine getting around, so I just like didn't feel like getting another ring light in Nigeria. So I, I always had to like wait for weather to be favorable to film. See, that whole thing there, eh? it, it's not like it's even expensive. Why did I not get I just didn't want to get to another one. I just, I, I was not like, oh, I'm after having Nigeria for just a little while, I'm not going to get that. So yeah having that so like i said i'm i'm back to being like uh, very cautious about the way i behave in public just so it do not tell bad on the whole nigeria the whole of nigeria basically because as a nigerian living in another place anything you do reflects mostly on the whole country so you have to like you know so i'm back to be like overly cautious quite a lot these days but really i'm enjoying my life here yeah? i'm not going to be bitch yet I'm like, oh my god, to like go to the beach, but I, I know there are a lot of things I have to put in place before I have to start going out. And I have a lot of requests for collab also. Like this video now we made them know I'm back in Ghana. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to sneak in Ghana, they won't know until I'm like hey, nobody would know I'm back in Ghana until I settle a lot of things and put a lot of things in place before I'll be like, Oh yes, I'm not back in Ghana. The vlog I even I feel moving back to Ghana, I'm not posted that yet. <laughs> I will still post it basically. I'll still post it basically. Yeah. But I'm just here talking about the whole struggles of moving back to Ghana and settling back in Ghana again in 2022. So we've covered food, light, electricity, and now again, the another struggle again is that I have to now start doing everything for myself. After being home, where literally everything is done for me, it's just like, have you eaten? What do you want to eat? This and that, the other or that. Because my mom. Uh, I, I, I've been a baby for a very long time. I'm not back to being an adult again. I really <laughs> adult life is a scam. See, see what I did to myself yesterday night. I don't know if you can see it. If you look very well, you see that. You see, here, I burned myself. I was just trying to make small things to eat. It's not like I was even making anything. I can cook. It's not like I don't cook. I don't know. Somehow, when I leave, if you leave me alone in the house, I get very <laughs> reckless. <laughs> so now I'm not back to doing everything for myself. I'm back to, you know, incurring some much, <laughs> some injuries and all of that. Really, and I have to like fend for myself, make sure electricity bill is paid, make sure there is food in the house, make sure there is water, make sure there is this, make sure there is that. Ah. I'm back to being an adult again. <laughs> oh my god, I miss being yeah. And another thing is I miss my friends a lot. Like it's been like a, it's been another level of loneliness. And another thing is like it's been a whole lot more lonely than it was for me. I think I'm feeling a whole lot more lonely now been in a big apartment alone by myself mostly because i've been home for most the whole family and i miss my family a lot i miss my family and friends a lot like because i was away from them for a very long time then i was back and i'm not used to like having everybody around me and all of that god i miss it a lot 
But like when I say I miss it a lot, I do not even play with it. Like I'm actually enjoying my life back in Ghana, being back in Ghana, trying to like move uh, settle back in Ghana. But my family are good. I miss them a lot and I miss my friends a lot. I miss making a lot of videos with, with my friends also. I have a lot of video film with them that I've not posted. I'll be posting. I'll be missing them with the whole Ghana content and all of that. Like I said, don't worry. Editing has been strict, but I'm going to like try and be editing more now. So I'm putting that on and all. But yeah, I really miss my friends now. I used to go to everywhere with my friends. I'm just like, oh, where are you? I'm going to so so place. Come, let's go together. It's all like that in Ghana because I do not really have a lot of friends in Ghana. That's my personal decision, basically. I don't want. I didn't want to come to Ghana and start keeping a lot of friends. I am the one person. Somebody might get into issue and it can fall back on me. Really, literally, I actually love like being riding solo and having very few selected friends in Ghana. I know like having friends that are way really, really close, too close to me. Basically, I have friends in Ghana. I have people I'm very cordial with. People like I talk with, but, but I don't really have that whole ride or die personal decision. Basically, because like I said, when you're foreign in another country, a lot of things you have to do differently from how you do them in your country. So you have to be very conscious of the company you keep because someone else's mess can easily affect you in your before you know your you know. So it's just like that. I've just been like, oh no, I'm keeping to myself, doing that, doing all of that, and all of that. So yeah. Like I said, my friends, they, they be, that's one, that's been one of the major struggles of settling it because now I have to like go out for myself, I have to do everything for myself, I have to do everything. <laughs> There's not a lot of traveling again, yeah, but I'm going to be doing a lot of that in Ghana. Yeah, and another thing, I think I'm, I, I, I keep thinking I'm forgetting some things, which I am. I said I was forgetting something, so this is me making it and adding it to it. Another thing is that, hmm. Now I'm not back, and uh, I use one of these internet companies. I don't want to mention their names in in Ghana here, where you are, where you literally have to like pay monthly for internet, unlimited internet supply. Before I left last year, I was paying two hundred CDs. I'm not back now. Now telling me still the other CDs. <laughs> literally, money spending money is like I'm not living back in Ghana. There's been a lot of this, so I feel like internet now is not costing a whole lot. So yeah, internet is really been. One of those things because internet is really expensive. That is really expensive. I was okay with the 200 CDs a month with all limited. But it's still very good because I use it for my television, I use it for a lot of things. And if you, if you are ever in my house, you have internet. But ah, this year's year, I was thinking I'm going to be cutting down a whole lot of expenses. But I, I, I came back to me that people are not reviewing prices and things are now more expensive than they used to be. I'm not having to pay 300 cities or 200 cities for internet. It's a lot. Yeah, but it is what it is. Another thing is trying to like get my customers back. Like if you don't, probably don't know or you know already, I do a lot of personal shopping. Like I shop for people from some top UK brand from the US, from a lot of things also. So I have a customer list already that you know I have very soft I had a very sophisticated customer lineup that I used to shop for. So I'm back now I'm trying to like get everybody back on the Juno struggle online. Like, I call me Oh, I'm back in town, no. <laughs> please. Oh, do you need to update anything now? There are new stuff in this and new stuff in that. I'm not happy to like start calling everybody again. Get to say I'm back. But in case you are in Ghana and you want me to, you are looking for a personal shopper to get you a luxury item from Fendi, Gucci, any one at all. If you want regular fashion brands also that are a bit more affordable. I can get all of that for you also. So in case you're in Ghana and you're looking for all of that, hit your girl up because your girl is not looking for my name. Come on. Your girl is not looking for a, a, a customer. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to literally update my customer list again. It's really been a struggle. Like I said, there's been a lot of struggle moving back to Ghana. I just want to like come on here and highlight some of them. And the last and the most important one is getting my groove back on. Like, oh my God, because I've been moving a lot of things really has been happening i've been unable to get my girl back on literally like that was basically hitting the street of Aga. i cry again she shoots content but i'm going to be doing that very soon i have a lot of fun content just give me a little time and just please bear with me for the sit down videos for a while before we start going now if you our videos again i play a lot so yeah that is it okay another thing is the water this 
I didn't want to talk about it because it's always controversial. But the thing is that if I'm talking about every other thing and I'm be truthful, why wouldn't I be truthful in Ghana? If you buy water, also people will get offended either way. Another thing is I miss water back home. I miss the water. I drink the water back home. For me, oh, because the water here is very good and very clean. People even drink the water coming from the Ghana water service. It's not like it's bad or anything. But I just think personally for my skin, yeah, the water back home in my own state agree more with my body than the one here. I'm having a, a little you know something but they will clear up very very soon by the time my body will not adjust back to the water again yeah to clear up so for now i'm like having this whole my face is rough is why i'm even wearing makeup because i wear makeup a lot but i really do not wear makeup day to day i love makeup a lot so yeah those are some of the struggles i have faced presently moving back to ghana i just wanted to come and talk about all of that i'm going to be doing a video about moving to ghana pros and cons 2022 and, and all of that stay tuned for that video before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share the video also yeah and i'll be seeing you in the next one bye guys did i forget this guy love you guys love you guys please subscribe we're almost at 4k you guys are amazing